Question number two taken from October 2014, Advanced Level Maths uh, HSE. Use trapezian rule with three intervals to estimate the value of the integral of um, cosec x dx with limits pi upon 6 up to 2 third pi, giving your answer correct to two decimal places. Second part, using a sketch of the graph of y is equal to cosec x, explain whether the trapezian rule gives an overestimate or an underestimate of the true value of the integral in part 1. So how are we going to do this? Now basically when we look at um, cosec x dx, we are looking at the graph of y okay the graph of y is equal to cos x this is basically y is equal to 1 upon sin x okay so how are we going to do this the interval or the integral the integral will be from pi upon 6 up to 2 third pi so if we draw up a table and we say pi upon 6 okay and the last uh, would be the last value would be 2 third pi and we have two intervals in between what would be those two intervals so pi up and six plus pi up and six would be how much would be pi up and three because that's going to be two pi up and two pi up and six so pi up and three pi up and three plus pi up and six okay so basically you're taking one third and you are adding up with one six and therefore you're going to get half so that's going to be pi upon 2. So this will be pi upon 2. We have to draw up a table of values to be able to find the area. What is pi upon 6 uh, being replaced here? So you're looking at y is equal to 1 upon sine of pi upon 6. And so what is that? So, oh, sorry, y is equal to 1. Yeah, 1 upon pi, sine pi upon 6. That's 1 divided by sine of uh, pi up in 6 okay pi up in 6 oops sorry about that 1 divided by bracket okay sine okay sine and then bracket pi up in 6 and close the bracket it's going to give you 2 therefore this is 2 if you do for pi up in 3 okay so we have 1 divided by sine of bracket pi up and three close bracket one decimal one five four seven one decimal one five four seven pi up and two okay one divided by sine of uh, so about that pi up and two it's going to give us one and then you have two pi up and three so that's again um one divided by sine bracket 2 pi and 3 it's going to give you 1.1547 again 1.1547 so if we look at the graph here it's going to be roughly like this the first value is 2 so when this is pi up in um, pi up in 6 that's going to give us like maybe 2 here somewhere 2 and the last value is 1.15 so when it is 2 pi up in 3 it's going to give us let us say somewhere here we have 1.1547 uh, alright so so the graph is going to look roughly like this 3 intervals mean those 2 here so we have 1, 2, 3 now, and this one's going to be pi up and 3, and here we have pi up and 2. Okay, so what is the formula to find the area? All right, and um, of this, okay, so what we're going to say, area is equal to the width divided by 2 times the first height plus the last height plus 2 times all the intervals Okay, right, and then close the bracket. So what is the width? The width is um, here. Pi up in 6 goes to pi up in 3. You have to add pi up in 6. Pi up in 6. Pi up in 6. So that's going to be pi up in 6. Okay. 
divided by 2 times the first height. The first height is 2. There we go. And the last height is 1.1547. That's 1.1547. And 2 times the intervals. The intervals are this, 1.1547 and then 1. So 1.1547 plus 1. Close the bracket. Do that on the calculator, you're going to end up with 1.95 square units. Here's your answer for the first part. For the second part, first part is done. We need to uh, tell the examiner, okay, use a sketch of the graph of y is equal to cosec x. What is the sketch? How do we sketch a graph of y is equal to cosec x? I'm sure you should be very familiar with your trigonometry by now. If this is a sine graph, okay, the inverse of that is going to be cos x. So that's going to be 1 here. So here we go. So the graph is basically, if we draw the graph alone itself, just the y is equal to cos x, it's going to be like this. And therefore we're looking at the area underneath the graph here. What about this one? Area under here. And look at this value. This is 2 already. This is 1. This is a lot bigger than this graph. What I'm trying to say here is that the other graph is looking by, con by contrast, like this. And therefore, this one is much bigger than the other one. Therefore, this one that we just found, give it gives an overestimate of the area that was supposed to be under this graph. Therefore, your answer for this one would be an overestimate. Here we are. I'm sure you've, you're very happy with that. You've scored five marks.